Once in a distant land, a seeker embarked on a journey to meet the wise Gautama Buddha. The seeker yearned for guidance on taming the tempest of their emotions, especially their struggles with anger and frustration. They hoped to discover a path to better emotional management. Upon reaching Buddha's presence, the great sage, with a serene smile, invited the seeker to sit down. He said, Let me share a parable with you, a tale of another time and place. In a kingdom not far from here, there reigned a prosperous and esteemed king. One day, he decided to visit a neighboring realm, as he had heard of the wisdom attributed to its ruler. The neighboring king warmly welcomed his esteemed guest, preparing a grand feast in his honor. As the royal banquet unfolded, the visiting king noticed a fly that had found its way into his soup. Disgusted, he promptly summoned a servant, demanding another bowl of soup. The host king, observing this, spoke gently, Your Majesty, please do not be vexed, it was but a tiny fly. It should not trouble you. The visiting king responded, I cannot abide such inconveniences. Even the smallest of flies can sour my mood. Smiling, the host king imparted a valuable lesson, Your Majesty, allow me to offer you a piece of wisdom. It is not the fly that has soured your mood, but your reaction to it. You possess the power to govern your emotions, do not let them control you. Recognizing the profundity of these words, the visiting king returned to his realm with newfound insights. From that day forward, he diligently practiced the art of not reacting impulsively to situations that once triggered his emotions. This transformation allowed him to maintain composure during challenging moments and make more considered decisions. The power of not reacting serves as an essential lesson for us all. Often, we react to situations without careful consideration, and this can result in adverse outcomes. Reacting in anger and frustration can damage our relationships with others and obstruct our capacity for clear-headed decision-making. It is imperative, however, to comprehend that not reacting does not entail suppressing our emotions. Emotions are an integral facet of our human experience, and acknowledging them is crucial. Instead of acting impulsively, we should take the time to process our emotions and respond thoughtfully. In a different corner of the world, there lived a young man named Michael. He was known for his emotional nature, frequently reacting impulsively to vexing situations, causing arguments, and hurt feelings. One day, Michael resolved to take charge of his emotions, recognizing that his spontaneous reactions were doing more harm than good. He commenced a journey of mindfulness and meditation, which heightened his awareness of thoughts and emotions. Furthermore, he began mastering the art of not reacting when confronted with situations that would typically trigger his emotions. In such moments, he would take a step back, inhale deeply, assess the situation rationally, and respond thoughtfully. Initially, controlling his emotions was a challenging endeavor for Michael. He would still experience anger and frustration but had the restraint not to react impulsively. With persistent practice, it became more manageable, and Michael observed that his relationships improved significantly. Instead of engaging in confrontations, he could communicate calmly and thoughtfully, fostering stronger connections. One day, a friend approached Michael for advice, seeking comfort and support during a difficult period. Michael attentively listened to his friend's concerns, offering solace and wisdom. His friend marveled at Michael's serene demeanor, remarking, you always manage to remain composed and never display anger or agitation. Michael responded with a smile, it's not that I never experience anger or frustration, but I have learned to control my emotions and not allow them to control me. It's a potent tool that has helped me enhance my relationships and overall well-being. Impressed, Michael's friend inquired about how he achieved this transformation. Michael shared his experiences with mindfulness and the art of not reacting, 
encouraging his friend to embark on a similar journey. His friend was grateful for the guidance. Over time, Michael became known for his composure, adeptly navigating challenging situations, and earning admiration for his resilience. By continuing to practice mindfulness and the art of not reacting, he discovered a profound sense of inner peace and happiness. The moral of the stories of the visiting king and Michael underscores the power of controlling our emotions. While we cannot always influence external circumstances, we have dominion over our reactions to them. By embracing mindfulness and mastering the art of not reacting impulsively, we can make more deliberate choices, strengthen our relationships, and enhance our overall quality of life. Remember, anger may persist as long as we cling to resentful thoughts, but it dissipates once we release those thoughts. It is essential to conquer ourselves, as that is a greater victory than conquering thousands on the battlefield. Do not be swayed by reactions, be guided by thoughtful actions. In the end, the ultimate reward lies in how much love we share, how gently we live, and how gracefully we release things not meant for us. The past is gone, the future is uncertain, there is only one moment for you to live and be your true self. So, let us aspire to cultivate the powerful skill of not reacting, which has the potential to transform our lives for the better. As the wise Buddha teaches, holding on to anger is akin to drinking poison and expecting the other person to suffer. Instead, let us seek inner peace, freedom from attachment, and happiness within ourselves, for the mind is the crucible that shapes our reality.